36 months of construction, 1.5 million man hours invested, sub millimeter accuracy, pushing the boundaries of innovation, technology, and particle physics to find cures and save children. The new St. Jude Red Frog Events Proton Therapy Center. One of the things we've done here at St. Jude is we've pushed the envelope on photon radiation therapy. And we've been leaders in radiation oncology. Proton therapy represents the logical next step. We've known for a long time that children who are treated with therapy direct at their central nervous system. So children treated for brain tumors or for leukemia, that they're at great risk for cognitive problems after their treatment. And these problems can really impact their quality of life, things like their academic achievement, their ability to hold a job, to live independently. We now know that this risk increases with higher radiation doses, as well as greater regions of the brain receiving radiation therapy. In conventional radiation therapy, the tumor is targeted with x-rays that pass through the body, affecting all healthy tissue in the path of the beam. With proton therapy, a narrow beam of protons stops within the tumor, reducing the amount of damage to healthy surrounding tissue. There was no question here we were gonna do this someday. We just had to wait for the, the right technology. Now we're painting spots of radiation using pencil beam scanning methods where we paint the dose in layer by layer, spot by spot. Obviously, that's, that was the, the generation of proton beam that, that we needed. For protons to be effective and reach the tumor, they must be accelerated to incredibly high speeds. To do that requires the most cutting edge technology. We're at the beginning of the acceleration process here. We start with hydrogen gas and then ionize the hydrogen gas, which strips off the electron, leaving us with a proton. The protons are collected into a narrow beam and travel into the synchrotron. This is where we accelerate the protons. The protons are accelerated to about 60% the speed of light. That takes eight million turns around this machine within one second, which is the same as four and a half times around the Earth in that one second. The synchrotron is tuned so that the energy of the protons matches the dimensions of a patient's tumor. At this point, they're traveling more than 150,000 times faster than a speeding bullet. This is the proton gantry. The gantry is over three stories tall and it weighs 100 tons. This gantry arm directs the protons into a patient's tumor with an accuracy of one millimeter. We're here in the proton therapy treatment room. We believe what's been achieved here at St. Jude is the most advanced proton therapy treatment room in the world today. One aspect of that is the scanning nozzle, which you see behind me. We believe we've achieved the smallest beam spot in the world. The scanning nozzle brings the beam from the synchrotron directly into the patient target. To ensure the patient is in the correct position and the beam is hitting the tumor in exactly the right spot, a cone beam CT scan, or CBCT, takes x-rays 360 degrees around the patient. This is essentially a CT scanner mounted on a robot. It allows us to do a 3D imaging of our patient's internal anatomy, giving us a more accurate alignment for our proton therapy beam. Most other proton therapy centers use a, a 2D system, so our 3D system really represents an advancement in our field. All the technology we've seen today, the synchrotron, the huge gantry, those pieces are all focused on one point, and, and that's our, our patient population here coming into St. Jude. The proton therapy is a great hope for us and our patients to, to cure more cancer. This is now the world's first and only pediatric exclusive proton therapy center. I'm very proud to say that four and a half years later, not only will we treat a patient, but we will have the most advanced technology. We're doing things that nobody else has ever done, and we can't wait to show it off.